<laughs> I should totally do this hairstyle. Let's do it. Alright guys, so what you will need for this hairstyle is some heat protectant. I use an ion straightening solution, flat iron protection, and then some castor oil hair and scalp conditioner. This is used for some serum because I don't know what happened to my serum. Yeah. And a powder brush, you know, to take out all those kinks and detangle. Also a wide tooth comb. And a flat iron, of course, to straighten your hair with silicone pals. This is my hair from that stretch braid out. If you haven't seen it, link in the description. What I'm going to do is spray that ion all over my head. All over, because we do not want heat damage. So I want to spray that all over my head. And just work it in. Oh wait, can I say that? It's copyright. Is it copyright? Who knows? All right, and then I'm gonna take my castor oil, Moroccan oil, with argan oil, and put that all over my hair as well. Like I said, I'm using that for my serum. As you can see, the shininess of it already working just like a serum would do. And it smells so good. <laughs> Smells like flowers and candy. And it smells really good. And then we're gonna work in one section at a time. And just right here, I'm just fingling, 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 <laughs> finger detangling. And of course, with knots, you do not want to rip them out. You want to cut them. Got it. Got it. Then I'm taking my blow dryer. And using that tension method again, like for the last video. I'm going to use that tension method and get that powder brush and just detangle from ends to roots. Starting off with the ends and working your way up to the roots. And then I just twist it up and start working on the next section. how shiny it is we just repeat that process we tangle with the powder brush and twist it up out of the way so finger detangle tension method and then paddle brush and boom, there you go. Once again, but working with that paddle brush. And then also, you want to go in with the paddle and the blow dryer. I did that towards the end and I actually got better results. So I would recommend that. And that smoke is from that heat protectant. And that's the finished look from my blowout. <clears throat> A lot of hair. And I missed a twist at the bottom. Didn't even realize that. And now I'm just going in with my second dimmer brush and taking out those kinks. Cause you really want your hair to be detangled for straightening and then i didn't have a little tooth comb so i used that pink dimming brush for it and we're using the chasing method of course everyone knows what the chasing method is you get the brush and you brush down while passing the flat iron slowly down with the brush or your 
small tube comb, which is probably what I should have used because my hair didn't turn out straight, and as y'all will see later on in the video. But you just want to go really, really slow. looks pretty straightened right here but I don't know and I did it wrong no you're not supposed to do the brush then the flat iron no you're supposed to do flat iron then the brush you got it right girl and then you just continue to the next section really I think why this my hair didn't turn out straight enough been natural for about four years and I this is my third time straightening my hair and it never turns out bone straight I don't know what I need to do <laughs> my hair is just really thick but once I figure it out I will let y'all know I think it's just because my hair is so thick look at that does that look straight into y'all no no it looks like a blowout. Look at that. Look at that It looks like a blowout. These are my end results after I straighten my hair, y'all. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is not straight. Oh, it do look good though. All right, so I just decided to continue with the hairstyle just to see what it would look like. And I section my hair in two sections, and then you just want to flat twist your hair. Um, to flat twist, you just get a little piece of section at the beginning, and then just twist down as I'm doing right here. If y'all want a better technique of a flat twist. Just comment down below and let me know and I'll do a technique probably on my snapchat or something or on my Instagram snapchat hacker thing <laughs> but just let me know and I'll let you know but basically you just twist down and you borrow hair twist down borrow hair twist down so that's basically um what you do for this for that hairstyle that I'm that I was trying to go for um so this is gonna be the blowout version of that style and you just continue to flat twist all the way down my hair is shiny though that um castor oil really did work and I'll put the links in the description of the out the detail products um of what they're really really called and then, of course, at the ends, I braid it to give it the extra curl. So, flat twist at the top and then braid it at the end. Y'all, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I fly out my hair three times and it never gets more straight. It always looks like a, a blow up. Look at that. It's not straight. But it, my hair is very, very soft though. I'm feeling it right now. It's very, very soft. It's shiny, soft, and it's, you know, very easy to work with. And like I said, flat twist the other side down. And then braid the ends. And that's it. You just let it set. You can let it set forever long. Um, you really don't have to let it set for that long. You can let it set for maybe an hour, two hours, three hours. I let it set for probably about three, three hours, three to four hours, I think. Here it is. It's night. Usually I would leave it in overnight. But like I said, you don't have to let it set for so long. And also I was very anxious to see how the hairstyle will turn out. And so I wouldn't hit just took it out I didn't put nothing on my hands you just you take it straight out but make sure you be very careful though because you don't want to want it to be frizzy
I mean, it looks really good. The curls are popping. I mean, that's a great style. It's just not the style I was trying to go for. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. At least I know I didn't get heat damage. <laughs> and it's just what my hair looks like. And you want to just part it for that hairstyle. You just want to part it kind of like at the the arch of your eyebrow is where you want to um, part the hair at. I just use my fingers because you know my hair was super soft to get through and it was super easy to go through it. You can use a comb if you want. But like I said, right at that arch of your eyebrow is where you want to put the part. And you just put it in a ponytail. Ooh, y'all excuse me. I am so sorry. I am rude. I apologize. <laughs> and you just put it up in a ponytail. Fluff as desired. So this is the blown out version of that hairstyle. <laughs> you work on curl days. <laughs> so that's what it looks like blown out. Thank you guys so much for watching my failed flat iron video. No, I'm just kidding. But this is what it looks like blown out. So if you want to try the style, I would say just blow your hair out and then flat twist your hair. Or you can bump it a little bit with like a little bit of heat and try it and then you'll probably get these results. But thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much. See you on my next video. Bye curls. Peace.